Hello everyone, this is Sam. Welcome to week three of Poochie's Memmy Mondays. We are on, actually, did I say three? We're on week four. Can you believe that? Um, this month is just like flying by. We've got five Mondays this month. So we've got, after this one, we only have, after this one, we only have one, one Monday left. So, wow. Um, so recapping week one, week two, and this was last week, week three for me. So I have had a ton of fun doing these. Um, I don't have a ton of experience doing memory decks cards, so this has been quite a journey. And in fact, I think last week was the first time I've actually done like a process video, craft with me video. So that was very interesting. I hope you enjoyed that wild ride into my brain while creating. It can be quite a scary place. <laughs> So, um, what do I want to say? Make sure that you stay tuned until the end of the video. I am having a giveaway for this hop. Um, you will be receiving, or one winner will be receiving all five memory decks cards that I create for this hop. I unfortunately cannot ship overseas, international. It is quite expensive to do that nowadays. So I won't be able to do that for our international friends. I am so sorry. Um, but maybe things can change and one day we'll be doing some different things. So, um, again, if you want to get information on how to enter my giveaway, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video and let's get started with week number four. Exciting, right? So let me put these girls out of the way. These have been so much fun to make. I am a big Alice in Wonderland fan, so I really enjoyed um, making this one especially. I do want to talk to you guys about a different technique that I tried as far as glazing, adding texture uh, to some of my projects. I was looking at a post that... Oh my gosh, who was it that did the post? Mm, I should have wrote it down. I actually thought I did. I'll have to make a note of it. Um, and I actually messaged her and was asking, asking her like what she used. And she had talked to me about, what an, I have it here. She talked to me about diamond glaze. So I grabbed some of that. And then I was mentioning to my daughter what I was trying to do with this project. And she had this. She also said she had the Mod Podge Dimension or Dimensional. She couldn't find it, but she found this one. And this one actually turned out to be really, really nice. But I'll show you what I did with all the projects, um, all the pieces to this project. Originally started with Glossy Accents, which is how I did my little card men. So I ran into some snags with that, but um, I also want to mention some of the digitals that I used in this project. I just got that this one a day or two ago, so I'm so excited about this one. This is actually a digital of a vintage Halloween postcard. I have never seen one in person, but I'm so glad that Anna is um, doing a digital of this. So if you guys are into this, I would, I would grab this one. It comes a little bigger. I did some resizing obviously. And I, when I printed them out, I glued the back to it. And then I, I actually did some inking to the sides to give it more of a grungy look. Love, love the way they came out. And one of them, this one, I actually did some I, I just added some accents to it. You can kind of see the difference in the color. I have the jelly pens, the jelly roll pens, and I added some color and I actually added some gold and silver, if you can see that. So I really like the colors and maybe I'll glaze these too. I don't know. We will see. Um, one of the things that I did, again, glazing, I did one of the Tim Holtz 3D 3D cards or 3D embossing folders. And I glazed this one. I did some different colors on it. I did some acrylic. I did some wax medium. And then I painted it with the Mod Podge um, Super Gloss. And I really, really like this one a lot. So this is going to go in this Memory Dex card. But let's look at it, shall we? I'm like holding off to the last minute to show you. <laughs> Here she is. She is a cute little book. Of course, we could not get away from doing a book for this hop. You know Sam. 
She's got to make some kind of book somehow, right? Um, and I kind of did that with last week's, right? With the little tiny book that was like on the backside. But look at her. She's actually chunky for memory decks, right? So you will see this clear piece that is here in the little slide die cut. I did some embossing powder, inking, and there's some dried flowers in there. This idea was 100% from Yuki on Pony Atelier, and I will link the video that she made. I had asked her a question through messaging, and she was so sweet, made a little video on how she was doing this specific technique at the time. So and that was, I don't know, a couple months ago, and I finally got a chance to do it, and I am so in love with how that turned out. Now this is my front. I did some acrylic painting, of course, some glitter. These are some tiny bows that I've made recently. These are some tiny rolled flowers I've kind of had. I made them and kind of had them tucked away. I think that came out really cute. Look at the little kitty on the pumpkin with her cute little hat and bow. These printables in the rest of this memory decks are all from Jenny Mae June. She has some printables on her website. She had some on her Etsy. I will make sure to link all of her social media and her website as well if you're interested in getting any of her printables. Of course, I added a little zhuzh, a little, um, a little flat planner, planner, cabochon, whatever you call them, from Sparkle Gems. I'll have to link her Instagram store. She also has a website. She has some of the cutest little tiny ones. And I think you saw them um, before when I was pulling them out on my last video, I had some little tiny mushroom ones that I was trying to fit on my last memory decks card that I, I didn't end up using, but I got those from her as well. Binding on this, you have got to see what I did. This was my daughter's idea. So I had this uh, punch that I have. I think it's the Zutter punch. I got it secondhand. I really like the way it works. It's super easy. It eats through everything, but I don't have any of the coils that would fit this, not the right size. The one I had was like huge. So my daughter said, oh, why don't you crochet it? And I said, you're genius. You are my child, genius. So that's what I did. I did a little crochet and did the binding with that. And I love how it came out. It came out so cute, right? So let's get into it. You can kind of see all the little things sticking out. Here is kind of how you pop it into your memory dex holder. Let's unwind her and see what she has inside. So this is the inside. There are some places that I have left blank. So whoever receives this can fill this up and kind of personalize it, make it their own. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more and adjust so you guys can see. Um, that is your first page. These papers are also the printables from Jenny Mae June. I used quite a few different um, packages of her printables, so you'll have to kind of look and see what she has on her website, but there are a few that I used. This one was another one. I think this I, I think I got this off her Etsy, and I don't know that she has her Etsy store open at the moment, but I'll, I'll check up on that for you. I did use a lot of the Tim Holtz, the 3D cards, or the 3D embossing cards. I used a lot of those. So this one is kind of like the wood planks. I painted acrylic, did some wax um, on there as well, some metallic wax. I don't like the way this looks. Let me, let me adjust this a little bit, sorry. Hold up. Sorry, I just think I could get a better angle for you. Okay, good. And this is the principle that I got from Anna's Wonderland. Let's see if I can get it off. And I did the glaze over this with the Mod Podge Super Gloss like I was showing you. And you'll see that it just, it's so pretty. It really kind of makes those colors pops, pop out. You can see the inking that I did to distress it on the sides. Look at the back. So cute. I am in love with this. I'm, I was so excited when I saw her post on her Instagram about this. I asked her, when is it going to be available? And she was sweet enough to send it to me. And girl, I'm going to be using the heck out of it. I love it so much. Um, so here we go. Get back. Focus, Sam. Principal from Jenny Mae June. This is also a principal of hers. This one as well. These I'm excited about. So they're really actually like large tags. So what I did for them to fit in the book is I cut them up. I backed them with 110 cardstock, painted the back with acrylic just to give it more color, more depth. And I just cut them cut them in pieces. And so you see how they kind of lay on top of each other in the, in the uh, book. So cute. 
and whoever gets this can do whatever they want. They can put some more stuff on the back um, or do some journaling, whatever you want to do, whoever gets this. So this is another little page, leftover piece. I did some embossing with this as well with a 3D Tim Holtz embossing folder. Here are some little slots. I filled this with all kinds of stuff. All of these are the principles from Jenny Mae June. Of course, there we go with the glaze. This one is actually the diamond glaze. So you get a little more depth on that. It did bubble a lot on me, but I was kind of trying to get the hang of how to use this one. Um, here is a kitty cat from Jenny Mae. Look at this little baby girl. I've used this principle quite a few times in different projects. And I actually have a project last year that I did for someone using this principle and I just can't get away from it. I, it's one of my favorite printables that I have. And it also comes with some sentiments. I did do some glazing on top of these as well, just to, you know, give it that real pretty look and shine. It kind of looks like I laminated them, but I did not. And I did some inking on the side. And these are all, again, from her printables in that kit. The, this one comes in several sizes. I think it's two different sizes. There's some really cute stuff in there. I just love that principle. I made this little toothpick. Um, I actually zhuzhed it up because this is, you know, one of the Dollar Tree ones. I just put some bedazzle on there. I used some sequins. I had this nice little metal piece and I just kind of hung a little sequin leaf off of it. So I think that came out cute. There's a little fence, a little die cut more of the printables. Aren't they cute? And I mean, imagine making them in different sizes, bigger or smaller. I could have done some inking. I could have backed it with something else. I could have done the glaze on this. So whoever gets this, you can have a way. I mean, just whatever you want to do creatively. Here's another one of those tags that I cut up, backed on 110 cardstock, and then kind of just layered them in here. I just love how they look layered. And whoever gets this can do more stuff to that. I mean, this makes my imagination go wild. I wanted to do so much. I wanted to do so much more to this, but I had to stop myself. It's not my book. I'm not going to keep this. So I need to leave it blank for people to fill it up with what they want. Right, Sam? Right. Here's some more. There's a little brick wall. Ugh, I love these 3D folders, embossing folders from Tim Holtz. I, I have a lot. Um, you, who was it? Somebody, I'm trying to think of names. I'm so terrible with names once the camera's rolling. Um, Poochie, freaking hey, sorry. Poochie just recently did a haul of a ton of these that she got on clearance, I think at Hobby Lobby. Oh, you gotta go watch that video, it's so much fun. And I'm on there commenting like, oh my God, I have all those. Is it terrible that I have all those already? <laughs> so that was fun, but there's a few in there that she hauled that, dang, I need to go get them because there's some pretty ones. Here's some of the sentiments from that printable with Jenny May. Um, some of the little flatbacks from um, Sparkle with Gem Sales. A little piece of that fence from um, a die cut that I have. More of this paper. This is also Jenny May. This is also, I mean, all these pages. Jenny May, all the printables, they're all her. Um, a little leftover piece that I just did some um, paint on and some bits on. This is from the principal. I glazed those a little bit before I glued them down into the page. And look at this little tiny, tiny page of, um, what are these called? <laughs> Sacks. They're tags, Sam. Sorry. I tell you, once the camera gets rolling, I, I forget my words. My English not so good. So I took these little tiny tags. This is a little die, by the way. Die cut these out. And then I added some string to the end. I did some paint, some glitter, some metallic paints, and then I stamped on top of it. Both sides are done. I took the bats that I die cut, mounted them on the page, and then tucked in those little tags. They came out so cute though, didn't I? Look at, look at this baby tag. Look at it, so cute. A little tiny mushroom and they're done on both sides or something on both sides so I really like the way they came out I think it's cute look how tiny a little tiny bat little tiny tag this is on mounted on a little piece of vellum here is that little witchy poo girl I did some glazing on her too um, doesn't it look like I laminated it oh so cute here's a little paper clip um, some little dangles on there I don't know why I'm having trouble talking today. I 
popped this little pocket in here and made a few little tags, stapled some ribbon to them. This is, these are both also, you guessed it, from the Jenny May June printable. There's a little vintage ticket. There's a little tiny glazed piece from the printables from Jenny May, tiny paperclip, more of the stamps. And that's, that's where it, it was Jules Meredith, Jules Meredith vintage, I'm sure, that I saw the Instagram post about her using the diamond glaze because she was doing postage stamps. Mm, my brain is finally kicking in. And I really liked the way they look. It just looks so shiny and look at, isn't that pretty? So thanks girl, that was a great idea. This piece is from Yuki, this piece of paper here. She did all that work. She embossed it, she put the um, metallic gold on there. Thanks girl, save me some work. Um, another principal and some glazing. This was the uh, Mod Podge that I used on that. I left some of the stamps here loose with a little paper clip so whoever gets this can do what they want with those. And this is actually where I'm going to pop this frame in. I want to have it right in here. It's a where I originally had it and I already had it in here but I decided I wanted to go ahead and glaze this too and I wanted it to dry really, really well before I shoved it in there. Um, this is some paper that I made myself. I just used some inks and stains and maybe some watercolors. And so I just cut it out to fit in here. And here's another one of the tags. This is the larger moth tag. Again, I layered it in here after I cut it up, backed each piece on 110 cardstock, and then painted the back. I love this moth. It's one of my favorite pieces from the printable collections that I have from Jenny May. I've used it on the front of a book that I did last year um, for someone as well. So I think I did that for Ashley, who's more crafts. And I will link the video down below. So if you want to check that video and see what I did with the principles for that. And again, people can, whoever gets this can use this. However, there's another little blank page that I kept, painted it up with some acrylic, put my info on it. So whoever gets this will always know that I made this, this came out of my brain, scary place with my little hands. Um, another piece of the principles from Jenny May, a little persimmon. I just love the colors in that principle. I backed it with an, another principle and then just distressed the edges. Um, and this part, so fun. So these principles, I cut them out. There's different sizes, obviously, there's four. But look how much glaze I put on that. That's all the Mod Podge. And look how it looks. And then I popped a few up. So, you know, just so that you have that layered look, that layered effect. And that's the back page. You know, whoever gets this can put more stuff on top if they want to. But mm, then it came out so cute. I'm very happy with how those mushrooms came out. I also did a little bee dangle in the back. You can see all the cute little bits on there, a little tassel. This can be taken off. I kind of, this little hook, I kind of moved it from the front of the book to the side of the book, to the back of the book, to the edge of the book. So whoever gets this can situate it however they want. I honestly could not make up my mind. I think it looked good in every place that I put it. So I finally just left it here. Backside has the owl. I did use the diamond glaze to glaze him up. I kind of got some wrinkles though when I glued it to the actual book. So I guess it looks okay. It kind of adds a little bit to the grunge effect, but mm, whoever gets this, if they want to take this off, they can. It's just hot glued on there. So it probably would pop off pretty easy. So that is my week four. Tell me what you guys think. Let me know um, if you want to know how to make any of these specific little things that I did within this project or this project. I don't know. Sometimes I'm at a loss of, you know, whether or not I should do I don't know, a process video, a tutorial, I don't know. So let me know what you think, but I appreciate you so much and your patience with me and my mind and my brain and all the crazy things that are going on. So back to the giveaway. If you are interested in the giveaway, make sure, and again, I'm giving away all five memory dexes at the end of the month. I'll probably do it on the first Monday of September. So everybody has a chance to go back and look at all the videos and make sure that they comment on everything. So make sure that you comment on each one of my videos for the hop. Um, make sure that you like the videos 
that you are following me on YouTube as well as Instagram, I would love for you to go visit the other ladies in this hop to make sure that you support them as well. Take a look at their videos, maybe put some kisses on your comments, some besitos on your comments so they know that you're coming from my, my YouTube to check them out as well. That, that would be very much appreciated. Um, and again, I'm going to be giving away all five of these, of these memory dexes at the end of this hop. I will do it on the first, let me zoom out so you can see them all, on the first, sep first Monday in September, I think is what I said. Can you see them? Kind of. <laughs> all right, everyone. I will make sure to leave links to Anna, all of her social media, so you can get those printables if you would like. She also has some other printables that she released around the same time as these. I'll be sharing those soon. I hope to do a project. I have one burning in my head that I want to do with that printable as well. Um, and then for all the Jenny May printables that I used in this project, I will make sure to link them below. All right. Thank you so much for hanging with me. Besos. Bye.